Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a dice simulator and we're going to be using Scratch to create this project today. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, I suggest that you uh, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you follow me and subscribe because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to go to Scratch and I'm already here at scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the create button because we're creating a brand new project today. If a tutorial appears here, you can just exit the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat because we won't be needing the cat uh, today. What we will be needing though is some dice and so look how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down here to the choose a sprite and I'm going to be drawing my dice today. So look, I'm going to click the paint button right there. And what I'm going to do is use the square uh, rectangle feature right there. I'm going to choose a nice color, maybe um, yeah, light purple sh should work. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose a light purple. And I'm going to be drawing a die. So here we go, like that. Try to get it as perfect as you can, perfectly square as you can. There we go. So there's my die. And I'm going to put the number on it, number one. And I'm going to do that by clicking the T for text. I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to choose a nice dark black there and I'm going to write on there T, uh, I'm sorry, 1. And I'm going to make that a bit bigger. So I'm going to grab the corner, make it nice and big. Whoops, I wrote down an exclamation mark. I'm just going to double click, make it a 1 instead. There we go. I'm still going to make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it really clearly. And I'm just going to center it as best as I can right there. Okay, so there's my dice number 1. But you'll notice here it says costume 1. That's the title right there, costume one. I'm going to make everything really simple and just call this one. So I've got my dice. There's the die. It has a number one on it. And I've called it one. So the costume is number one. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to put my mouse pointer up here, two fingers on the touchpad, duplicate. I'm going to click this, make it a number two. So you'll notice I've got die number one and it's called number one. I've got die number two, it's called number two, and I'm just going to create all six die like this simply by duplicating, then clicking here, changing the number. There we go. I'm going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to go in here, change it to number four. Dice number four is called four, so I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to call this one five. Perfect. And one last one, duplicate. I'm going to call this one six. And I'm going to make one more die. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate this final one. This is the seventh one. I'm going to get rid of the number altogether and just going to fill it in in a different color. So I'm going to grab the bucket. Maybe I'll just leave it black and fill it black. So there I've got my first dice with the different sides of the dice. There's side one, two, three, four, five, six. And I did that by making the first one perfectly and then duplicating it and then going in and changing the number. And then I made a final seventh dice that I just left blank, black like that. So that's your first task today. Go to Scratch, go down here, hit the paintbrush button, and then start creating the dice with this uh, rectangle feature and fill it in with a certain color. I chose purple. You can choose whatever you want. And then call each one a different number. So. Dice number one is called simply one. Duplicate all of them. When you have that, we'll be ready to go with the next part. So I'm just going to pause, let everybody catch up and make their die like this. And when you're ready to go, I'll be here waiting for the next part. Okay, now that we've created the different sides of the dice with these costumes, we're going to code it so that it goes to a random uh, side. So watch how we do that. When the green flag is clicked, let me make this a little bit bigger for you, working at home or at school, wherever you happen to be. When the green flag is clicked, I just wanted to go to the plain dice right here. I'm just going to move it over. I'm also going to shrink it a little bit. It's way too big, maybe 50%. There we go. So that way I can fit two dice on here. So I've just switched the size to about 50%. You can choose whatever works for you. And I moved it over here. And now when the green flag is clicked, let's have it go to costume number seven, the final one, just as, it, as we're waiting. So green flag, I'm going to go to the looks button, switch to costume seven. Perfect. Now, when I hit the space bar, I want it to go to a random number. So when the space bar is clicked, when the space key is presented, pre pressed, 
um, we need to make a variable so that we can choose the variable in the side. So I'm going to make a variable right now. So look, I'm going to go to variables right there. I'm going to make a variable. I'm just going to call it dice one because that's what we're working on, dice one. And I want to set dice one to a random number. So when the space key is pressed, set dice one to a random number, a random number. So we've got six sides of the dice, right? So choose one of those sides. So pick a random number from one to six. And then I want it to switch to that random side. So um, looks button, switch to costume, not seven, but I wanted to switch to costume dice. Um, so the operators, no variables, dice one. So switch to costume dice one. So look, green flag, it goes to costume seven. It's the, it's the blank one right there. But when I hit the space bar, um, we're gonna set the dice to a random side, one, two, three, four, five, or six, and then switch to that costume. So let's see if that works. Okay, ready, green flag. Now I'm gonna hit the space bar. Yeah, went to random four. Now one, now six, now four, and five, and on and on. So, this is pretty much all of the code we need for this die. Switch to the blank costume, that's costume seven. Create a variable, and I call it dice one, because remember we have two dice, so for dice, let's make this dice one. And when the space bar is pressed, set dice one to pick a random number between one and six. And then we're gonna switch to that costume between one and six. So I'm gonna let you code that, and when you're done, uh, we'll be moving on to the next part. I'll be here waiting for you. If you get stuck, please, please look at my code there. All right, now that we've coded this dice pretty much perfectly, we're going to duplicate it. So look, I'm going to put my mouse pointer over here. I'm going to touch it with two fingers and duplicate it. So now this is sprite number two or dice number two. Here's dice one. Here's dice two. I'm just going to move dice two over here. Like that. Maybe move this over a bit. Perfect. Okay. So now we need to create a variable for dice number two, otherwise they're always going to be the same. So I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to click on variable. This one we're going to call dice two. Okay. So for dice two, we're going to switch to costume seven. That's the blank one. And when the space key is pressed, let's set dice two to choose another random number right there. And then switch to costume dice two. That way, dice one and dice two will be different numbers. So green flag, space bar, great. Nice. They're switching to random numbers. All right. So I'm going to let you duplicate dice number one, make a new variable, call it dice two, and then set dice two to pick a random number between one and six and the costume should switch to whatever dice two is selected as. I'm also gonna hide these two variables. So I'm gonna unclick them so you can't really see them. So I'm gonna let you do this next. So duplicate this, um, create a new variable called dice two, and then simply switch a couple things like set dice two and switch to costume dice two. And if you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. All right, I hope those die are working for you. Hey, one problem, I don't like how fast it switches between numbers. I like a little bit of a delay, so it goes it goes too fast. So look what I'm gonna do, I have a little trick here. I'm going to just pause for a minute. I'm gonna create a title, so I'm gonna go down here and click on the paintbrush. I'm gonna choose a color that I like, uh, maybe a nice blue color. I'll just move these over until I get a nice blue, light blue like that, perfect. And I'm going to write down the word dice simulator or roll the dice or something like that. Dice simulator, like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Great. I'm going to grab it and move it up to the top like that. Now I want it to look like it's rolling, like when you shake the dice. The words dice simulator are going to shake as well. So watch how I make it shake. So when the space key is pressed, Right? When the space key is pressed, these change numbers. When the space key is pressed, I also want this to shake, the words to shake like they're being rolled. When the space key is pressed, I'm going to go to the motion, turn 15 degrees one way, 
and then turn 15 degrees back the other way. And I'm going to put a little bit of a weight in there, otherwise it'll be too fast and we won't notice. So weight um, 0, decimal 0, 0, 001, something like that. Uh, and another weight here, 0, decimal 0, 0, 001. So it's going to turn 15 degrees this way and then 15 degrees that way. And I'm going to have it repeat that 10 times. So let's see how that looks when I hit the space bar. Okay, green flag, space bar. See, it looked like it was rolling back and forth. See that? It's kind of cool. So um, I've created the title Dice Simulator, and I've coded the words Dice Simulator to go back and forth really fast 10 times whenever I hit the space bar. So that takes a couple of, not even a couple of seconds, that maybe takes one second. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the first die. And after I hit the space key here, I wanted to wait one second before it actually does this. I'm also going to go to this one and wait one second before it actually does this. So that way, this is rolling. These are waiting. So ready, green flag. Hit the space bar. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. I like that. Wonderful. Okay, so that's good. Now what I want to do is um, get a character that's going to multiply these for me. So let me go down here. And the one I'm going to choose for this one is dot. Dot doesn't get much playing time in these games, so I'm going to choose dot right there. I'm going to put dot down here, and we're going to pause there. I'm going to let everybody create a title and have the title go back and forth 15 degrees a whole bunch of times with a repeat, and then change the dice to wait for one second before it chooses its next random number. Okay, and then you can finally choose a character like dot who will be um, telling us the answer to 6 times 5. So I'm just going to leave it here for a few minutes. Uh, if you get stuck, look at my code, and when you're ready to begin, we'll go on to the very last part. All right, so now we've got to code it so that when you hit the letter M on your keyboard, the dog multiplies these two numbers and gives you the answer. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to the dog right now, and I'm going to go get the button that says when uh, space key is pressed. Space key is pressed. When the space key is pressed. But instead of space key, I'm going to choose the letter M for multiply. So when the letter M is pressed, the dog is going to multiply these two numbers. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the looks button and he's going to go get say. But instead of saying hello, he's going to say the answer to the multiplication of these two numbers. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go down to the operators button and I'm going to grab join. Join right there. And I'm going to slide it right in instead of hello. Uh, join the words. Uh, multiply. Multiply. Equals. And now here I'm going to put um, two multiplication numbers. Multiplication. There's multiplication right there. See that little sign? That means multiply. Multiply. Dice one and dice two. And those are in the variables. So multiply dice 1, and multiply dice 2. So now, when you hit the letter M, the dog is going to multiply dice 1 and 2. See, there's the multiplication right there. And he's going to say, multiply equals the answer. So let's see how it works. Ready? Green flag, space bar, 2 and 5. So 2 times 5. He should say 10 if I hit the space bar. Let's see if that works. Ready? Space bar. Oh. Oh, sorry, I pre pressed spacebar. It should be the letter M. 5 times 1 is 5. I'm going to hit the letter M on my keyboard. Multiply equals 5. Good. Let's test it again. Spacebar. 5 times 2. That's 10. So I'm going to hit the letter M. Multiply equals 10. Fantastic. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this code. So I'm going to put my mouse pointer right up here. Two fingers on a touchpad. Duplicate it. And I'm going to change this to the letter A for add or addition. So I'm going to pull this one down, and instead of multiply, he's going to say add equals, and I'm going to get from the operator's button the addition block. And I'm going to put dice one in there and dice two in there. So when I hit the letter A, the dog's going to add dice one and dice two and then say the answer. Let's try that again. Ready? Green flag. Um, space bar. Okay, 4 and 1. I'm going to hit the letter M for multiply. Yep, the answer is 4. I'm going to hit the letter A for add. 
Yes, the answer is five. Works perfectly. Fantastic. Hey, I'm going to let you do this part now with the dog. If you get stuck, look at my code. And I'm using the variables, dice one and dice two. I'm also using the operator's code. Uh, it's this one here. It's join apple and banana. And of course, I just wrote in here multiply and divide or add, I should say. And then I just joined them using this one for multiply and this one for uh, adding. There we go. So um, when you're done this part, I have the very final part. It's really quickly. Thank you for your patience. And if you get stuck, please look at my code and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, last thing, we just got to touch up a couple of little things. For example, when the dog answers, um, the answer is, is in the way of the dice. I don't like that. I'm going to make the dog a little bit smaller. I'm going to make him maybe 80%. Um, and I'm just going to move him down here so that when he answers, the answer is clearly right here, not on top of the dice. Let me just double check that. Green flag. Um, space bar. Okay, four times two. I'm going to hit the M for multiply. Okay, not bad. I'm just going to move him over a little bit right there. And A. Good. So that's not in the way of the dice. So that's good. I've liked the. I've changed the size of the dog. I like where he is now. And the words don't appear on top of the dice. I could also move this over just a little bit. Four times two. Hey, I need a backdrop. This white backdrop is pretty plain and boring. So I'm going to go choose a backdrop that works for me. The one I like, you can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to choose blue sky too. Just to add a little bit of color. That's nice. And the last thing. You know, when I hit the space bar... Um, like, look, I'm going to hit the space bar right now, and look what happens. These are going to switch immediately. No, they don't switch immediately. They um, they just sit there and wait for a while. I don't like that. When I hit the space bar, I wanted to go to the um, plain black backdrop. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the looks. I'm going to choose costume. Switch to costume 7 for the dice 1. And for dice 2, 2. Switch to costume seven. There. So right after the space bar is pressed, it goes to the blank black backdrops or, or dice costumes. Wait a second and then gives you the new dice. I like how it looks better. Watch. Um, space bar. Good. Five and four. Space bar. Look how it goes black. And then it, uh, then it reveals the numbers. So it's hiding the numbers and then reveals them. I think this looks way better. Okay. And the letter M for multiply. Good, it's not in a way. Letter A for add, and that's not in a way either. Hey, you've done a great job on your dice simulator. I hope you like that one. I think you're going to like our next project, which is creating a fitness workout. So um, I look forward to seeing you next time, and uh, hope you're enjoying these lessons. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Have a good day.